Hey guys, this is Neil. Um, just going to give you a quick update on the car. Uh, trying a little bit different video format with me in the, the picture and probably shouldn't have used a wide angle uh, lens that I'm just noticing. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, just wanted to kind of go over uh, a few things that we've done to the car. And, uh, you know, this past month has been uh, kind of crazy with uh, family issues and cancer and stuff like that. So, uh, we've, we've pretty much, you know, are dealing with that and, and we're continuing, continuing to work on a car and uh, that's been kind of a, a focus and something to, you know, distract a little bit. So anyway, uh, here we go. I'm going to show you what we've been working on. Um, you know, I'm not trying to trip. Uh, all right. As I've said before, um, uh, we, we have a, a frame in, uh, inside the car. Uh, chassis basically with some suspension components and stuff so um, it's just there really for placement and to make sure that we have uh, the system or the chassis centered to the body uh, at the same at the same time we're we're still shaping on the body uh, we have a lot of that to do and, and it's kind of it's kind of difficult because we we have to uh, basically you know, shape the body and, and attach it to the frame and make sure it doesn't shift or, or anything like that. It's, it's kind of crazy and, it, and it, it's hard to explain because a lot of people think this is the actual body and it's not. It's, it's really just a buck. So we're going to end up having molds made of this, but we need it to be, you know, as accurate as possible so that when we have the, the, the body shell and, and, and body panels made, um, they'll fit right onto the frame, you know, exactly. We want to mess with it. It'll be a nice, perfect fit. So it's better for us to take the time now um, to, to make, it, make sure everything fits uh, properly and aligns properly and everything like that. So, uh, so as you can see, I've, I've uh, cut out the hole, uh, the side vent, and, and created a big, giant hole inside of the car. <laughs> um, basically, I did that because I wanted to, make, I wanted to change the shape of the vent um, and, and make it a little bit bigger and kind of move it away from the door area a little bit. So uh, it's not really going to get too much bigger, even though the hole's big. Um, we're going to end up filling that in, and I'll, I'll videotape that later. Uh, but right now, I needed to support the inside of this fender um, because, it, you know, when we took all the bracing out, it came, became real flimsy, I guess, and, and, and floppy. <laughs> so, uh, so what we're doing is we're using our good old friend Gorilla Glue and we have uh, some wood basically glued to the fiberglass and, uh, and holding it in certain areas so they won't move and then we'll go back over that and um, epoxy and fiberglass on top of that to make sure it doesn't really ever move um, and, and make sure everything stays just you know just where we want it to. So Gorilla Glue is my new friend I didn't realize how, how good that really sticks to the fiberglass so it really it's really a good um, a good glue for bonding just about anything I've bonded steel and wood everything plastic uh, all to the underneath of, of fiberglass without even having to prep the fiberglass and it works really good so not that I'm trying to push um, gorilla glue but it would be nice if they sponsored me though um, uh, anyway so uh, that's pretty much what we've been working on uh, there's a frame inside and, and it's kind of hacked up and stuff so uh, there's a lot to do with it. it's only the lower part of the the chassis um, and and everything and so we haven't attached the rear end to uh, the chassis yet and and or installed the roll cage or anything like that so uh, there's there's a lot that we still have to do with just shaping the body and make sure everything fits and aligns correctly so we're getting close to being able to take the car off of this platform so that's, that's our next point. I mean, that's our next big step is once we're able to get it off this platform, um, then we'll really be able to, to start finishing shaping the, the sides and the bottom of the car and, and tweaking everything underneath it. So um, that, that's going to be a little further down the road. But uh, as you can see, I'm trying to hurry up because when I post these on YouTube, I only get 10 minutes of video time. I really hate that. I wish they would expand that to like 10 minutes or something. So um, anyway, so here's the hard top that you saw. It's just sitting on the ground at the moment. Um, I've recently added uh, a rear section uh, to the 
to the hard top uh, to kind of finish it off. It's not, you know, it's nowhere near 100% or anything. It's just, we, it's just mainly raw fiber left. So uh, we have to go back over with some body filler. <coughs> and as you see, the other side's not done. Um, so uh, uh, what I'll do um, later is I'll uh, go ahead and film the other side being done so that people can see how, uh, how we shaped the, the other side of the, the, the hard top. And one little trick is there's a, there's a, uh, uh, a wire in the middle with a turnbuckle in the middle. And what that does is when we cut the top, um, it allowed it to, to stay in the same position so that, because fiberglass has a tendency to kind of spring out. So when it's attached, you know, so basically when it's attached from one side to the other, when you undo it, it springs back. And so that keeps, make sure it keeps it in place. Um, that's basically it. There's a lot of race cars out today, so if I'm having to yell into the camera, it's because they're all right in front of me in my garage. So, uh, pretty cool cars. So, so that's that. And um, oh yeah, one last thing. Um, I still get a lot of emails on this gantry thing. Everybody's like, "What's the orange thing around the car?" Well, uh, again, this is we call it the gantry. I don't really know what its technical name is, but Basically, it's a system that allows us to line everything up uh, on the car. Um, as you can see, we have lasers. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, we have lasers that shine onto the car and, and help us align and, and draw patterns out onto the car or whatever we need to do with it. It helps us find the center line to the car so we know what to measure from and keep everything symmetrical. Um, it, it's really useful. It's kind of like a... Uh, like a third hand, in this case, I'm actually using it um, to help line where I'm going to cut the hole, of, you know, where I had to cut this hole out at and where the brake line is going to be in the hood for it to tilt forward. So, and at the same time, it's also holding uh, some of the bracing on the inside using this little bungee cord. And so I can't really move it, but it actually has a switch that uh, makes it move back and forth and it's on this little cable drive system. So. Uh, uh, that, that hopefully explains it, and I'll probably just um, continue to tell people about it and over and over in you know, every four or five videos, because uh, I do get a lot of emails on it. But it's really useful, so if someone has extra metal or, or want to make one, um, it's, it's definitely something that you should do for anyone who you know, decides to uh, try to do this, because uh, it really does help with uh, keeping the, the symmetry of the whole vehicle and making sure you don't really mess up uh, too bad <laughs> with your alignment. So um, that's, that's really the best thing about it. So anyway, um, I think that's about it. So uh, I will, uh, I guess, uh, keep you guys updated on what we do next and I'll videotape some of the other uh, things that, that we plan on doing next with the, uh, with the side vent and hard top and I'll do those in the normal time-lapse deal. So uh, anyway, everybody take care. I'll uh, see you next video, bye. All right guys, I'll film some of these cars for you. So here, let me zoom in on that one. That was pretty loud. Wait, that's not the loud one. There it is. All right. Car's pretty quick. Yeah, there's a tree. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come towards us in a second. Alright. Here it comes. It's called Big Ben.